All right. So I think in terms of the kinds of figures that you can draw and the kinds of um, insight you can get into your data from ggplot, we've covered most of the bases. There are some obscure geomes that you should definitely look up on the ggplot um, uh, in the documentation. But what I want to show you in this last um, unit is how to customize your plots to make them look like what you want them to. And I'm just going to say outright that these, um, each of the things I'm going to do today, I have literally Googled in the last half an hour how to do them. And everybody does that. Nobody remembers exactly how to change the weight of the lines or exactly how to make the color different, right? So these are not things that anybody remembers off the top of their head. These are things that people Google um, every time that they want to do them. But the documentation is really good. So um, it's not difficult to find what you need simply by typing into Google, how do I change X ggplot, right? So the first thing that I want to get rid of in the beach bugs um, temperature plot that we've drawn um, here is the gray background and the grid lines. I don't like that at all. So um, the easiest way to do kind of global formatting changes in ggplot is to use a theme. So let's take the code that draws this um, plot and we want to get rid of the gray and grid lines. Um, so what you can do is add in just a, another layer on the bottom that is a theme. You can see when you type theme, it comes up with lots of different options and you can just play around with them. So I think the default theme is gray, but let's try, let's try the one at the top of the list, black and white, right? So if we run that, what does it do to our figure? Ah, okay, so that gets rid of the gray, um, but not the grid lines. Let's try another one. Um, show me the list again. Um, what about dark? What does that do? Oh, that's more gray. Okay, no good. Let's try that again. Um, theme classic. Maybe that'll help us out. Aha, that's what I'm looking for, right? So standard white background, black X and Y axis um, ticks. That's exactly what I'm looking for, right? So the other thing that you can do um, is if you decide that you're, you just want to draw GG plots that are classically themed um, all the time, you can set your default theme to be classic so that it applies it to all of the plots in a script. So let's see if I remember to do that up here, right? So up here, what I've done is added this line of code after my packages and the, the um, default that it will apply is theme gray. But if you want to, you can change that and say that my I want my default to be theme classic. And when you run this script again, it will apply theme classic to all of the plots in um, in the script. So that's let's add a little we'll set our favorite theme. Right. 